giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. And welcome back. Here's a guest who I've been wanting to have on this show for quite a while. I've seen her on the radio, Friends with Paul Pepper, but this is her first appearance on News Leaders, so I want to officially welcome Melanie Kanoki. Hi, Melanie. Hi. Thank Good you for you having here. me. Yeah. You're all about the stars and space and yep. what's out there. Uh, director of the Columbia Public Schools Planetarium. That's correct. What a title that is. It is. How long have um, you had that title? Oh, I've had that title for about, I guess, eight years. Um, which is small in comparison to how long the Columbia Public Schools Planetarium has actually been in existence. Um, it, or the universe. Or, well, or the universe, yes. Let's all put it into perspective <laughs> here. Um, yeah, the Columbia Public Schools Planetarium has been around since 1974. So it's been around a long time. Yeah, and this yeah. is a great place that's open to the public as well. We did start public shows. The first regularly scheduled public show started about five years ago. Um, after we received a couple of uh, grants and donations from members of the community. We wanted to turn around and share it back. Um, in the past, they had done some outreach, but not consistently. So um, once we got the donations from Stafford Family Trust and the David Lichtenstein Foundation that gave us a new um, projection system and the new chairs, which are great, all of it's great. Um, so we've been having second Saturday shows um, since then. And um, we usually have two shows. One starts at 2 and one starts at 3 or 3.15. The first one is for younger kids and the second one is for an older audience. Um, on April 14th, we're going to have an astronomy day. So we're going to add a couple of shows. We're going to have shows at 12, 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to split them. The, every other show will be for um, preschoolers. Um, called Wonders of the Night Sky for little ones who are fascinated with space but are a little scared of the dark. So we do a special show just for them and their parents. Um, and that's going to be at noon and at 2. And then at 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock, we're debuting a new show called um, Two Worlds Beyond, I think. Two Worlds Beyond. It's a solar system show. And it's new to our dome. So if you've been to our planetarium in the past and have seen some shows, you haven't seen this one. So come on out and, and take a look at this. So one. I've never been there myself. Oh. So what would I see? What, what would I be experiencing? Well, um, out, we are within Rockbridge High School. So you come into the main entrance of the building and then you walk towards, you just walk straight ahead towards the planetarium sign. And um, on Saturday the 14th, we're gonna have exhibits and displays out in the hallways that talk about different aspects of astronomy. We're gonna have an exhibit on black holes, we're gonna have an exhibit on Mars. Um, uh, the Area Astronomy Club is gonna have some telescopes so they'll be observing the sun. And uh, so that'll all be within the halls of the school. And then once you go into the dome, it's really an amazing space. It's a 40 foot dome and it's it's a tilted hypodome. So Ooh. instead of just a half dome, it's actually like 220 degrees and it's tilted a little bit. So when you walk in, you have this very strange experience, um, but it makes viewing much easier. Um, so you walk in, you take a seat and um, then the show begins. And usually there are three parts to a show. We usually do a movie and then we do a star tour. And the star tour is always done live with our 44 year old star ball which is still working great. Um, and then we have time for questions and answers after that. So when you're watching the movie, is this like a gigantic projection? It's a full dome show, which means dome. we use the entire dome for the screen. Okay. So um, to Worlds Beyond, we'll take you all around. It's, it's not like a surround sound. I, well, I guess it is kind of a surround image look. But um, yeah, that's why we had to get new seats, because originally our seats were for students that were studying looking straight ahead. But when you have to look up, Sitting like this you, for, you, you know, you yeah, straighten your head up. right. So um, we got the new seats and that allows you to just explore the whole space um, comfortably. Um, so Sounds like something you could get lost in, in thought and feeling. Well, or fall asleep um, <laughs> <laughs> too, which we've had some of those. But if you want to visit us, um, we do recommend res reservations. Um, it's free. We ask for donations, but um, you can reserve your spots online at CPS planetarium.org. That's just to come visit. That's just to come on the second the... Saturday. No, well, the second Saturdays of the show. Are, oh, um, okay. It's to reserve uh, second Saturday show s seats. I see. Um, we are only open to the public on the second Saturdays. Throughout the school year, we're open to school groups that come in, and we do some after-school shows. 
but um, mostly it's during the school day, and so we have school groups coming in and out. Well, my school never had anything like that. <laughs> Neither did mine. Yeah. So uh, I had to wait till college to get to that. <laughs> it's amazing what you can show the kids, though. I'm sure exactly. it just astounds them. Yeah. So that's the second Saturday, April the 14th. Mm -hmm. Okay. For more information, cpsplanetarium.org. Yes. All right. Anything else you want to say before we go? I think that's it. Okay. Melanie Kanoki, Director of the Columbia Public Schools Planetarium. Thanks. Don't be a stranger, right? Okay. I'll have you back. All right. Thank you, Melanie. Okay. Okay. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>